Vincent Losertalis, Secretary General of the Bureau of International Expositions, or BIE, says China's presence in the Milan World Expo that concludes on Saturday is outstanding. Losertalis says China has as many as three pavilions in a six-month event: a national pavilion and two corporate pavilions. He notes it is the first time that he sees the country having such an important and active participation in an expo. He adds that he is impressed by China's national pavilion. Well, the Chinese participation in this Milan Expo is brilliant. But you know, China has had Salvit Pavilion and many other expos before this this one. But in Milan, I think the pavilion has a very attractive shape, which is you know in the China tradition. Of the rural architecture, but also, you know, it's a very modern building, very functional, and also with the, they have done lots of activities. Chinese provinces have been present in the expo, and in general, you know, they, I think the Chinese presence in the expo has been one of, of the best. Among the pavilions that he liked the most is the World Expo Museum Pavilion. It was co-built by the BIE and Shanghai Municipal Government and authorized as the sole official museum and documentation center of the BIE. Earlier this week, a 25-meter-long wall from the Expo Milano 2015 was donated to the Shanghai-based World Expo Museum. It covers a construction area of roughly 46,000 square meters and will open to the public in 2016. In his view, new expos are building the vision of what we want to become and are new catalysts for urban development. For example, for the first time in the history of world expositions, the Milan Expo is accompanied by a project, Expo in the City. He points out the project involves the entire city with thousands of activities, expositions, concerts, and initiatives for all citizens. A new new expos are exactly to build the vision of what we want to become, not what we are, but what we want to become. And I think this is a very new element. Also, expos have become, you know, catalysts for urban development. An expo cannot be successful if it doesn't transform the city, and I think that now expos have to be linked to the city more and more. We are going to celebrate the World Expos, the best ex-、uh, day,、uh, which was a legacy of the Shanghai World Expo with the UN habitat. He explains that World Cities Day is designed with the general theme of Shanghai Expo Better City, Better Life every October 31st by the United Nations. It aims to push forward cooperation among countries in contributing to sustainable urban development around the world.